Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create your first app service. My name is Tord, I'm a technology solution professional from Microsoft Norway. I'm going to quickly go through this and uh, this is going to be a part of several movies regarding the app services. First of all, you need to have an app service plan. Mine in this demo is called My Service Plan Norway. I'll find this in my starboard where you can decide to pin or unpin elements like you know Windows 8 and the new tiles and metro system. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the new button. We're going to go to what's called the web and mobile. Here we'll see the web app, logic app, API app, and the rest of the stuff, Azure mobile apps. That's a combination of app services. So all of these four defines the app service. We're going to hit the logic app. You're going to get this window popping up. You need to give it a name. We're going to call it demo for today. I will assign to my service plan and my resource group. You can decide to pin this to your start board or not. In this case, I want to have it to my start board. When I hit create, it's going to show up on this screen. It's basically creating it. Whenever it's done, setting up all the logic I need for this, it will automatically open it up. When it's done, you will see this window coming up. It will show you the information about your app service, how many triggers you have, how many actions you have, how many successful runs and how many failed runs you have. In this case, this is a completely new one, so it's empty. We're going to hit, in the summary, the triggers in action. This is going to give us the designer view of app services. An app service always starts with a trigger. What's triggering my app service to initiate and start? You can decide pretty much any API apps we have, but in this case, I'm going to use the recurrence one. I'm going to tell my application that every minute you need to do something. I hit the done button and everything's safe. If I want to go back and edit, maybe I made a mistake, you can hit the pen button and you're able to change this again. The second part I'm going to have after my trigger is an action. My action will be to connect to Twitter. I am going to be asked to authorize this. I hit the authorize button and this window pops up and I authorize the app. It will redirect me back to my API management designer view and it's going to give me a set of options that I want to do based on this configuration. In this case I want to search for tweets. We'll do the app service one and we're going to hit done. You'll see this is save again. The body will get back is the tweet text, retweet count and retweeted by. I mean sorry tweeted by. The next step we're going to do is add the Dropbox connector. What I want to do is every minute I want my app service to go in and check Twitter and then find anything that's named app service. I then want the first one in that area to be uploaded to my Dropbox folder. You're going to get the same question here to authorize the app. When that's done, you will get this view. In my case, I already authorized Azure app services to access my Dropbox account. So I'm not going to be asked that again. I'm then going to choose upload a new file. We'll get a new set of configuration based on the options you decide to have. You're then going to set it in the file path. In my case, I already copied it. It's going to be demo app service slash test file dot txt. The content I'm choosing, I simply hit this button and I choose the tweet text. And then hit the OK button. My application should now be saved. If we go and click the save button, we're really sure and we'll get a success. We can go back to the home screen again and then go for demo for today. What we'll see is these settings have changed. Now I have one trigger and two actions. It has no successful runs and it's failed zero times. You can, if you want to, hit the run one, run now uh, button and then you will see. So in this case, it uploads and automatically updates. You can see this run one time. Let's go and take a look at it. We can see that both my actions have succeeded. You will not get your trigger in here. You will only get the actual actions happening. So if I hit for my instance, my Twitter connector, which was the first step we had, I will get the input link sent to the API for Twitter and then the output link given back. I can simply click this and I will get the information out of it. I can see the, the tweets. We tweeted it, how many retweets they got. And the second step would be actually putting this into my Dropbox folder. Now let's take a quick look and see if it's there. As we can see, this is I've run a couple more times. Let's hit test file. You can see this was a retweet by someone, Azure App Service, Web plus Mobile plus Logic plus API apps. 
a lot more information regarding this. This is how easy it is to set up. You can easily go in and take a look at what's happening. Close some of these windows and go back to bed. You can go back to your home screen. If you don't like whatever you've done or you made a test, you can easily delete it by hitting the delete button. Then you need to type the name of the application and delete it and it will be gone. If you have any more questions, please take a look and monitor my YouTube account and I'll try and upload more videos as soon as possible.